Hello and welcome to this SCAR DP video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be taking a closer look at the new color tools interface in SCAR DV 3.36 which has recently been released. Now uh, this new color tools uh, dialog you see on the left here basically replaces the old color history. Now if you use the color picker tool like before you will see that it shows the picked colors just uh, as it did before. Now in this version you can also uh, hold the control key on your keyboard and pick multiple colors. So you can just keep picking colors. You, uh, When you release the control key uh, you can pick your final color and all of the colors you picked will now show up in the uh, picked colors uh, category here in the color tools. So this is uh, just as before basically a list of all of the colors you've picked during your current session. Now if you were to close car and reopen it all of the picked colors will have been erased. Um, as before you can also erase your uh, list but now you uh, can no longer uh, right click um, anywhere outside of the um, the color list and, and select a clear button. Instead you can uh, press this button here which will clear the entire list. Now aside from this you can also remove individual colors by just clicking the delete button up here when one is selected or in the menu here. So the final button here of course is just a color picker like we have up here. So you basically have two places where you can uh, start this. Uh, well on top of uh, the one in the tools menu of course. And <coughs> basically uh, on top of this you also um, have the ability now to store colors permanently. So I'm going to select like uh, half of these and you just drag them down to the stored colors um, group here and they will just move there so you can also kind of move them around but this order won't actually be stored and now when you close car and reopen it you will see that the colors we um, placed in the stored colors group here are still there and as uh, usual the pick colors group has been erased. Now one final uh, very well in my opinion useful uh, option you have in here is when you have uh, a set of colors so okay so a set of colors here and this also works for stored colors by the way you can select them or a couple of them and you can clear the duplicates. Now in this case um, I'm just going to select all colors. I'll get to unnamed only uh, in just a second but if we select all colors uh, it will remove all of the colors that um, were previously uh, duplicates in here. So now all of the duplicates have been erased and we can for example move these two stored colors Okay, so now that we've uh, taken a look at that, um, this uh, list also has another new ability. For example, when you have, have a pick color, let's say I will um, get one from this icon here. You can just uh, click it like you would normally and you can rename it. For example, in this case, I will name it icon color one. And now you have given this a color, but as you can see, uh, you can still copy the original color. It doesn't uh, just copy the name or something. Uh, everything still works, but you just uh, gave this color name, which can be useful if you, for example, want to keep track of uh, which colors uh, you picked where uh, 
uh, what significance they have. And of course, this also works in the stored colors list. So just uh, drag this over here to delete a couple. Okay, so um, now it's in the stored colors list. And if we restart SCAR, you will see that uh, the color here remains. <coughs> now, if we go back into the remove duplicates, and I will just uh, pick a couple of new colors here. So I've got a couple of white colors here. And I will just call them white one, white two, and white three for this one. And well, we don't need all these. So I'm just going to move this here in the stored colors list. Well, it doesn't have to be in there, but you know, um, just to show you that works there as well as uh, in pick colors. You can now select all of these and uh, use the unnamed only option in clear, uh, clear duplicates to only clear the duplicates which have uh, which don't have a name. So all of the ones that didn't get a name have now been removed. Now, if you clear uh, all colors, well, duplicate all, uh, all duplicate colors here, it will also uh, clear the ones that already got the name. So that way, if you have uh, given a couple of colors a name, there's some duplicates in there, and these are important for you to keep, you can just clear the ones that haven't been named uh, instead of all of them.